Hi guys, it's Carrie from Luxembourg. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I just um, have to do a quick video because um, I'd like to do a flip through of this journal, uh, journal glue book, um, before it goes out tonight. It's a birthday present for a friend. And um, in lieu of presents, she asked that everybody bring a handwritten recipe with them. And um, during a conversation, uh, she'd mentioned that she was just going to put them in a binder in plastic sleeves. And I offered to make a, um, something for her to put them in. And she was um, really excited about that idea. So um, I came up with this. I hope she likes it, obviously. Um, it's been kind of fun making it it's something different than what I would normally um, normally do. So I just wanted to get a flip through of it to uh, also for myself so I can go back and look at what I did. Um, so what I did here, I did, a, I got this idea from Wendy. I just put an elastic cover on it so it gives the book um, a little bit of room to expand because obviously with things being stuck in it, it will expand. I mean, it's quite chunky at the moment because there's a lot of ephemera in it but that can be removed at any time so um it's just a, a paper cover and i've got fabric on the spine it's a one signature it turned out bigger than i had intended but that's always the way with me um i've collaged um some little labels and uh, book covers vintage book covers um on it as well and on the inside Okay, a little bit, it's a bit big and I hope you can see everything. Let me move it and jiggle it around a bit. Okay, hope I don't bounce the camera around too much. So in the front we've got a big pocket. I'll be writing her name up here um, in a minute before I wrap it up. Um, yeah, like these tags don't have to stay in here, but you know, in case she wants to put recipes or something in there. She can do that. And then it's a more of a glue book kind of thing. So there's not a lot too many pockets or anything in it. Um, the kit I used primarily was um, a scre from Screech Owl. I'll put the link down below. Um, and I also used some of my portrait prints. Some Roxy Creations. They like wine as well, so I just um, put this little piece of ephemera in there. But it's, this is more to show that recipes can be stuck up there as well. So, there we go. so there's a lot of um, writing space in it too, and I thought, like on here, uh, recipes could be stuck on there. It's a little bit late in the afternoon, so the lighting isn't great. So I'm sh yeah, sorry about the shadows. Yeah, there's some little tuck spots here and there. A lot of coffee dyed um, paper, ephemera. A little tuck spot with a little, little belly band with a little booklet. Some extra paper. Nose, I think. Some of Rachel's paper. And then here's just a little tag and some ephemera. Some more of the kit. Some vintage papers. Big tuck spot here. I left it empty because, like I said, it's already quite big. I think this one is, I think it's from Tailor Made Journals. I'm not sure because I've got a couple of those kits with those things. Or it's from Odolcina. So this is some vintage tracing paper, <laughs> big beans, this is from chapter one I think, oh there's a tuck spot where nothing's in it, oh actually I've got one little thing here I can just stick that in there. So that's the middle of the uh, signal. Make sure. I just put a couple of recipe cards in there. Okay. So I hope you're all well. Thank you for dropping by. 
just um, yeah, really wanted to get this up before I send it off. So I can sort of remember because I've got um, enough stuff to make another one or two. And I really like it. Even for myself, I might make one. There are some images also from my port prints in here. I think these tags, the big tags are from my porch prints. really like the colours in this kit as well and the pages because a lot of the cooking kits that I looked at were more about baking um, and I wanted this to be a bit of everything. Um, I think this is from, oh, I think it's Vintage Studio 717 if it was, or something like that, <laughs> these two. But like I said, I'll put, I'll link all the kits that I use down below. And I also, I think some of them, like these covers are from the old design shop. And maybe this as well. I know I did have a few images from the old design shop. But my memory's like a sieve. It's not that long ago that I downloaded everything and printed it out. There you go. So these like big pages, I left them pretty blank. I mean these could be removed and a recipe stuck over the top of this um this little tuck spot. Just a little tuck spot in there as well. A little tag. And that's the end of it and I'm gonna just sign it down here and there's a big pocket and I just thought I love this postcard let me I don't know if you can see it close enough there it's gonna be a bit awkward with the position of the camera they're just uh, playing violins and dancing in the street <laughs> and um, I love partying with these guys they're just so much fun so that's that thanks for watching and thanks for joining me and um, well hope to see you in the next video Thanks. Bye-bye.